Superstars limited edition blockbuster brow set. Also going to be reviewing some lashes for y'all. A crown minx from Amazon. The brow superstar kit. They're all so pretty. I broke out the other day because I got really sick and I had a head cold. And when I get a head cold, I break out. Maria Badescu drying lotion. So I
brush out my eyebrows. Then I use the um, precisely, precisely again to make hair-like strokes in the beginning of my brow. Then I take the Gimme Brow. And I'm done. For 50 bucks, I think all of these products worked amazing and they're full sizes, so I think that's even way better. Um, only thing that upset me was the fact that my precisely came broken. I'm gonna be reviewing these three set of lashes I got from Amazon. They are the A Crown Minx, they retail for about $18, I believe. That's including shipping for three set of mink lashes. That is very, very good. And um, I'm about to show y'all. The quality of these are very, very well. I usually go to my local beauty supply store for lashes. And the lashes usually are never even this durable. And I spend about $13 per lash. Most of the ones that I usually get from like the beauty supply store and stuff are very cheap and don't ever really last as a lash holder and I take very good care of my lashes so I always need my lash holder to be on point so first ones I'm going to review are these ones if you have me on Facebook very fluffy all of these are 25 millimeters currently I I have eyelashes on this eye and not on this eye well, basically what I like to do is I take the duo I also got this on um, Amazon for five bucks, which is pretty convenient because in stores they usually retail for eight or nine or even 10. If you guys know how to apply eyeliner, I know y'all are about to come for me, but with this technique, you genuinely do not need tweezers. Very fluffy with the. So now what I do is. Once that gets tacky, you won't see it anymore. That's why I use this technique. Instead of you putting it on the lash and figuring out where it needs to be placed, it knows where it needs to be placed because it's only going to stick to the glue. Not too close to my inner corner, so it's not poking. And that's these. They are very, very fluffy. These ones are very cute. I thought they were going to be my least favorite from this bunch. These ones are very, very fluffy and cute and very, like, dolly. I love them. These are those. These ones are not as dramatic, but they still are wearable. I think they're so cute and they would pair so well with a winged liner. Last but not least, these ones. I think these are super, super cute. I wore some lashes like this on my birthday. Super, super cute. I love the fact that all of these are very like fluffy and wispy and they're not like uniform. Bougie on a budget. Try all these glosses for y'all. This is punchy. It smells like fruit punch.
serious. Real serious. First thing I want to do is thank everyone who has been sharing my video, who's commented my, on my video, who's shared their stories with me, who's related to me and contacted me, reached out to me, anything. I'm always very positive and I put very positive energy into the universe and I'm glad that I was able to be successful in what I wanted to do. And my purpose for sharing my, my story was to reach out to people who have been in the same predicament and feel very alone and don't think that there are other people who relate to them. My purpose was to reach out to you guys. Since posting, my mom has gained access to the video, contacting me and uh, threatened to donate all of my things if I do not take the video down. She wants to donate my entire shoe collection that I paid for. I have the message as my proof in court. I'm not here to bash her. I had no intentions for my video to get this far this fast. All that I've been getting is feedback from people who deal with the same things. Being that I've dealt with all the things that I've dealt with, I would never want to put anyone in the same situation. I would never want to hurt anyone because I know what it's like to hurt. In the video, my mom does mention that her mom used to beat her. Her mom raised me. If your parent abused you, be a part of the change. If your parent neglect you, be a part of the change. Do what you can to mold your children to be better because they are the future. Your soul is like a plant. If you water and you tend to and you care for it and you love that plant, it's going to grow, it's going to flourish, and it's going to be great. If you neglect that plant, you don't water it, you don't take care of it. You say mean things to the plant. Plants can hear you. It's not going to flourish. It's going to die. It's going to wilt. And it's going to fall over. If you have a problem with the way your child is acting, reciprocate your words in a way where they can understand you and feel like you're not an enemy. You're not against them. You just want to help them. Because as a parent, that's what you're there for. You brought this child into this, into this world you should be the one to care for it. It's like buying a pet and completely treating it like why did you buy the pet in the first place? I'm here to bring awareness to the subject. You guys are not alone. I'm here to listen and I definitely want to help in any way I can. You're not alone. Things are going to get better. The words your parents throw at you are not you. If anything, they are exactly that. If they were any better than the things they are trying to call you, they wouldn't be calling you those things. It is never okay, never okay to what you feel is right or wrong. Speak to people as if you were speaking to seven-year-old you, six-year-old you, three-year-old you. If you wouldn't say any of these things, to the younger you then why are you saying any of these things to anyone it's not okay again i'm very grateful to have reached the people the way i did if your parents physically and verbally abuse you do not think you're the problem because you aren't they are i want my voice to be heard because you guys' voices deserve to be heard i still can't believe i've reached the amount of people that i have right now I have a total of 1.59k subscribers and a total of 14,000. <sighs> so overwhelming. I'm, I'm just speechless. Growing up, I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. Here I am. <laughs>